Hey guys, it's your boy Ty, and I'm about to give you my weekly review for USD JPY. If you're looking for mentorship, I'm actually taking 10 students for the month of June for a thousand dollars a piece. Now, with that one-on-one -on -one mentorship, what is included will be the same as my $2,500 mentorship. It's going to be one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls every week for an hour a day for 30 days. You're also going to get access to my ebook, which will actually teach you how to use the Fibonacci retracement as well. And you'll be able to, um, I'm going to also teach you how I actually find my entries on the five minute charts and the best time to trade the three pairs that I use, which is USDJPY, US30, and NAS100. So now I'm about to dive straight into USDJPY. This is what I feel like price is about to do this week. All right. So just starting out on the four hour time chart, guys. You want to first always be able to first identify the trend. Because if you don't know what the market is doing, how can you find a, a good entry? So price came back into the supply zone. And then from there, uh, price has been bullish ever since, guys. As you can see, it still has been bullish. So if we just break it down and we go and we draw the fill from our low to this high, you can see price came back off of the three off the three eight two. It didn't go into the golden zone, but then price has just recently broken and is making new highs now. So I would definitely expect for the market to stay bullish. Now, whenever I'm whenever I'm on my smaller time frames. Like, let's just say if I go down to the one hour, I try to get my entries closer, of course, because those four hour time charts, they're going to take a while to play out. And, you know, I like to be pretty much in and out the market if I'm if I'm in, if I'm doing more of a day trading. So this right here was our last low. So now let's find our new high. So this was our last low right here. From there, this right here would have been our most recent high. Price pulled back, tapped the golden zone, and then it continued to go up. All right, so from here, this right here would be my new low. This right here would be my new high price came all the way back down and then uh we can see that it actually continued to go up so now this right here is my new low and now we just have to locate our new high All right, which price is currently creating now. All right, so on a one hour chart, we really just have to wait and see where price is actually going to. Now, if we wanna get an idea of where price may be actually be going to, then, we, then I will come back on the daily chart and I will go back and it looked like this is a record breaking all time high. Yeah, yeah, see, because we just went all the way back to 2000. So this is an all-time high for USDJPY. So whenever I get all-time highs, what I like to do is I typically go to the most recent most recent high and I like to whenever I'm intraday and in, intraday trading I prefer to uh, to possibly scalp on like a five minute time chart so from here this right here was our high this right here was our low or I'm going to go to the most recent area that we was just at the last high that just got broke that would be this one so I would put it right here and let's see. So it looks like price might actually be going to 
160.945 because that would be my TP4. And a lot of times whenever I don't hold, I mean, a lot of times whenever I actually hold my my Fibonacci, like right here, whenever this, whenever, let me show you, let me show you a, a more better example because this right here was the last one before price shot out. All right, so we got our pullback. You can see price came up, smash TP1. TP1. And if you don't have my ebook already, um, if you get the ebook, you will see how I actually break down all of these levels. But you can see TP, it came and hit TP1, hit TP2, hit TP3, and now it's on its way to TP4, which is 159.018. So, so once price hits this, I would be expecting some type of pullback, and I would be then going on the five minute chart at about 5 p.m. because that's around the time I like to get my entries on uh, USDJPY. As you can see that this right here was my last entry. I knew that price was going to come back to the zone before it took off and I ate on that USDJPY buy. So just looking at the five minute chart real quick. Whenever I'm scalping on my daily time chart, you, know, you see, because we had this big this big bullish breakout, I had to come back, fill up that imbalance, and then price took off. So I'm guessing for this week that USDJPY will still be buying, and I'm going to be taking long positions on USDJPY for this week as well. So see you guys in the next video, and make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.